to Cocktail Hour with Rick. I'm your host, Rick Sarah. I'm kneeling on the floor in front of this little iPhone. And let me just orient horizontal a little bit. There's my lovely wife, Darlene. And our dog is somewhere. He's right here next to me. Oh, he's right next. And as you see in the foreground here tonight we will have a special cleansing ceremony as we did not do it last week hello everybody let the fun begin okay i'm gonna say hi yeah, you're walking badly uh, john c scott bagley aj vintage syndax uh, I, I landed Rick Sarah. Hi. So Mega. Third Martian. I have the uh Oopsie Oopsie. Cherry Berry Girl. I got a view of the live. It looks good. No thank you. I'll see you. And again. Joseph Neggy. Everything is beautiful. I mean, I don't know if anyone read the comment. No, Joseph, what was the comment? I need a cleansing for muffin. Okay, cleansing for muffin. Hello, all in all. Pam LaRoche, hi. Hey, guys, Pam we want to do a couple things. Give me a couple minutes. I'm yes. Gonna, I just named everybody. Yeah, named but, people. Uh, we came on 7.30 tonight because his brother Steve's down and he fixed dinner for us. So we weren't and, sure what the timing was going to be. And it was delicious. It was incredible. Chicken but Marsala. Oh. The thing, we have got to get off right nine before 9 o'clock. Otherwise, we're so, in doo doo. And another so thing. So you behave. No, you behave. I behave? Yes. You well, behave. they'll behave because they're home. But I might not behave. You know how it goes. So you got nobody else there to say hello to already? No, everybody. We oh, have Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Is that Stephanie Short, maybe? It just says Stephanie. All right, it could be. I can't tell you if I do not know. Miss Glow, hello. Miss Glow, hello. So we got eight likes. Click that like button. 34 people so far. Alaska. Hopefully we'll double or triple that total. Tasha Simmons. Good evening. So I am Rick Sarah. I used to be known from another creator's works. Oh, not good there. And, uh, hey, Jimmy Rick. Hello there. I have been uh, famously solo now for going on almost two years. And my wife is my right arm man and woman she's uh intersex i'm bipolar she has both genitalia i shouldn't say that i didn't mean that in a bad way i have both genitalia she has both genitalia okay that's what i meant to do bad Rick. Oh, long that dog. if you didn't Hello know there. this darlene shoots me with nerf darts from and i think everybody two in feet this away knows that in reference to anything I say off color. So if I do, you'll probably see her shoot me in the head. Not in the, my nickname Dick head, but maybe somewhere else. Okay, so that gives you a little bit of the ground rules. There are no ground rules, but I try to not be so bad as to be declared demonetized. You know how important it is for us YouTube cr uh, creators and you, the audience, just by viewing, we make lots of money. Lots and lots of money. So please keep coming and joining my uh, site at YouTube at Rick Sarum and uh, hey, enjoy Ryan. my lovely videos. I have quite a few hundreds and hundreds hey, of them. Ponytail, hello there. And well, why don't we give them an update on mom? Mom, my mother, you know, if you could imagine someone who was totally able to do everything on their own and watch them totally transform into someone who needed help, that's what you see in my mother. You know how great she was. Now, she's fine here. We can talk to her. She knows what's going on. She can still laugh, make a joke at our expense. The Once biggest thing is right now she's she's weak. Very weak. And um, 
We had a discussion. She won't drive until she's back to normal, and right. I expect that to happen. But this 94-year-old was in the hospital for a week. Yes. She wound up with sepsis, if I said that incorrectly. Yes. Um, she is now getting intravenous injections and antibiotics. I'm doing that two times a day at 10 and 10. The nurse. And um, her one arm where the pick line is, is very sore. Very sore. So she's having trouble uh, getting her clothes on or off because it's so sore she can barely And even it. getting in and out of bed. So yeah. we just made a couple changes to her bed to help her be able to self uh, transfer in and out of her bed. It's a little bit high, so we reduced the height. And we bought a device that she can hold on to and that we is secure. And we moved her to the other side of the bed because it's her, her right arm that is sore. And her she left arm is strong. Push herself up, so we moved her to the other side so, so she, she can. can push herself up. And so that, we're making some small changes. Have you been able to go in there and see that thing yet? Yes, or? I did. What you think? I liked it. And uh, today she had a PET scan. That's a cancer scan from so, here to your thighs. And we have all these doctor's appointments lined up that she'll be going to tomorrow. So this lets all you know her. that she is feeling okay. I'll use that word. Yes. She has to get her hair done. Oh, yeah. So she's going to the hairdresser she, tomorrow. She had to have an appointment tomorrow hey, to get Jackson's her hair done. here. So, you know, she's definitely, she talked with a friend who, they both go to the same church. This lady has taken her to church. She is also down having issues oh. for one friend. And um, so they both are probably thinking they're not going to attend church service this week. But um, as mom, you know, is fighting everything, it probably is best not to go in a big crowd. True. Maybe the same for her friend. So it's 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 tough, but I think there's a way to watch it online. We'll have to try to help her do that. You know what we mean, don't you? We as in her. <laughs> so uh, you all might be aware it's uh, almost t that time for the tax man. That's Monday. We just got our tax information. And... Well, no, we gave him the tax information. We just yes, got we got our back. results. And results are... Mm, better than last year. Not as much out of pocket as we had to pay last year. So I hope that none of you owe any taxes to the tax man. Or even better, you have refunds coming, like my mom oh, does. Yeah. So good luck to you all surviving the twenty. 23 tax oh, returns. Great. Joseph Nagy just saw you in the Paranormal Files on Lincoln Park. Oh, I wow. Know that's an older video, but really liked your part of it, especially the EVP. You know, I really uh, was thrilled to be asked to even be involved in the whole product that they were going through and making. Hey, Cam, um, we just went all over that. Oh. I Send wish, your text later. I wish I just had more follow through of people to seek me out including people like uh, Josh, etc., to maybe have me come out and go ghost listening with them. That was the name of one of the artists that posted. Hey, Wolfen, Protein Waterfall. Hello, everybody. I hope that you're going to have a great weekend. Here uh, in Florida, we have a sunny weekend. Thank goodness. We got rid of the rain yesterday. Oh, well, that's smart, soul. You start making arrangements now. That's wonderful. And uh, what can I say? What else? Baseball is in swing. I guess there are some people who enjoy watching Major League Baseball or Minor League Baseball. Oh, Muffin. What's up? They had a rough week, too. They had surgery Friday to remove a kidney stone and put in a stent. I hate yeah, that. Love those. God I'm bless you. I'm glad the pain is gone, but I had to take the stent out myself. Oh, I know. Ooh. Yeah, but it's a, it's like a string, isn't it? And you pull this black thread, and you can pull it out. Yeah. They go from inside of your kidney 
to the inside of your bladder. Urinary catheter. They're so much fun. Hey, Bobby the Desert Walker. And they one thing, they make my bladder spasm like crazy. Very uncomfortable, uh, verging on painful. If it's kidney stone related, I've Been experienced there, done it. That Thank several God times. so far, in 2024, I got no stones for you, baby. Hey, Mr. D Pants. Mr. D Pants went to a great concert. He said he went to a few live shows. Yes, he did. And he's getting ready to hop in the ocean. He's going to hop in the 60 degree Fahrenheit ocean. This man. And Bobby with the Desert Walker said it's 90 degrees there already. Wow. Thanks, Robert. Wow. So we have a friend, same name, in the area. Hey, John and, Smith. Uh, my brother's been in the water this week, and when I was with him, it was really chilly. The last two days, because I think he was able to go. Cherry Berry liked your video. Oh, thank you, Cherry Berry. The water was warm. It was wavy and choppy, just like my granddaughter and I experienced a couple of weeks ago. It was that way this week, so I need to run down to the shore to get my feet in the water and maybe my whole body. You know what I mean? I love going to the beach, I have to say. It's one of my uh, pleasures. As you can tell, maybe, by how many different videos I've posted that are beach video. I hope you like. If you don't like beach, beach video, you turn to another channel because this is the channel you get beach video. <laughs> so next Friday is the weekend of 420. 420 and it is Earth Day Saturday 420. Hey, Alien Train 28. So 420 next Saturday. I will be releasing on 419 my Earth Day video. Annually in the last few years I put out a video and this time the setting is 100% again, mm -hmm. right back behind us. John Smith said, Rick, there are lots of boobs on the beach, just saying. That's excellent. Love to have boobs on the beach. Hey, George Drugus. So I know I didn't say that right, sorry. Instead of showing you all the trash I picked up, instead of showing you me raking through the muck and creating a bag full of trash. I did it once out of a kayak. Another time I did it just from the shore and I almost went down into the muck in my waders. Luckily I didn't go that far. But I almost did because you don't know how much whoosh, your feet are going to go down into that muck. So I this year I found I found a bunch of opportunities in the last month or so to catch video of the life here that lives here, that thrives here. So that's what the video is. My sanctuary behind my house. It's been Your, what? Wait a minute, let me get this right. Oh, I can't find it. Oh, no. Sorry. Anyway, it was Rick almost went down. <laughs> Rick almost went down. Yeah, that's exactly right. There it is. Rick said he almost went down, uh, quote unquote. So. Hey, Hugh Jassel. Hugh Jess. Oh, yes. Jassel. Almost Hugh. I watched uh, James' video. It was just so good and cute. Well, so, uh, hey Rick, me and my girl are getting high in Michigan with you, and we truly envy the nice weather you have. Thanks, oh, buddy. gosh. That's from you. I, I wish you could escape and come visit us because before we leave, we're going to have another meet and greet. We don't know where it's going to be, it depends on if something is still open. If it is, we'll go back to the hippie. 
pull that off. One last time in its current location, because unfortunately we're going to lose the saltwater hippie. It's supposed to be rebuilt across the street, but you know, will it be the same as the old? Not really. It can't be. Well, they're probably. They'll do a good the try. But uh, they're getting rid of the captain. Oh, they are? Completely, but they're going to maintain the pit beef that you can buy over at the captain. Makes sense. Yeah. The whole place is owned by the same people, so it doesn't really matter that much to them. But um, I know they know that there's a great following for the saltwater hippies, so they're wise and they're going to recreate it. So who knows? Well, maybe we're lucky. We will have a meet and greet goodbye to everybody here in Florida and down south anyway. And then we will be heading up to Maryland again. Good one, Jimmy. So we'll let you know where and all we have had. A few people come, and we've met these people and become friends with them. Yes. We got Steph Short, we got Mike and Maciel, we got Bobby. I'll say. That's it. And Our first uh, name's fine. You know, we would love to meet more of you in person. Anybody who's a Floridian, why don't you stop hey, over? Dingle, dangle. And uh, I did wish. ask earlier, I wanted people to stop over tonight because, you know, tonight Jeff Blue. is the special cleansing ceremony that we do once a month. This is your opportunity to have the negative energy stripped from you, literally down your spine, and it will be replaced with the white, clean, healthy, positive energy that you get out of the ceremony. So we'll talk about a little bit on that further along. How are we doing? What are we at? What time are we into Ten the of show? Eight. 10 of 8. So 20 whole minutes have elapsed. Yes. Already 20 minutes. Wow. It feels like three hours. Just kidding. <laughs> I love doing this. I'm just playing with you all. You know that, right? I wish I could pull your little cheeks and go hee 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 hee. Yes, I wish I could. Poor but then pinch. I would pinch lightly, not too hard. I hate it when people pinched me no, too hard. I didn't mind the peacock. little the little pinch, uh, kind of like a uh, tender love pinch, but not a Have fun, Mr. D not pinch. a pinch like her when she pinches my ninnies. It isn't a gentle it's little It's not a peacock. I think it's a Muscovy duck. I am not a see. peacock. She's reducing me to two words, pee and cock. It's like all my cock is good for is peeing. I got away from that one. You're supposed to, ah, you're supposed to shoot the darn dart at me. Nerf has provided us with all these darts to shoot at. Nerf I, hadn't provided us with anything. They haven't provided us with jack shit. I am going to do Harry Carey. You missed yourself. I missed myself. <laughs> I missed myself. I touched myself. Oh. I'll be back. Okay. Ah, good <laughs> shot. Holy moly, this is great. She is shooting my brother as he's tried to escape in my mother's Taurus. And uh, he did a great job, really. And he's been help here as we've been. taking care of business. He actually was the uh, person who brought her home from the hospital. He did the discharge transport. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that's good fun. I wish you could have seen. I, uh, I need a cameraman is what I need, you know. Two camera system, a cameraman, a uh, real... Much. A real um, broadcasting, uh, something modern where this information here is digitally in the background. You don't need to literally have a freaking thing like this. Fred, what makes you think we can do that? I'm just effing off, basically. But there is a capability for those who are more intelligent than I, which is... Almost everybody else. I would say more tech savvy. 
Texas Savvy. Almost everybody else. Yes. I remember I was a, a person who used the first <laughs> IBM PC that had two floppy disk drives, one for the operating system and one for the application program. Yeah, well, it would. 1985. Hey, pencil, pens, and having that old. And I was so impressed with this computer that I took some of my money and bought one of the best computers you could buy in the day. What year was this? Oh, this is like almost 1990. This had two five and a quarter double-sided discs. Maybe it was 85. Uh, Maybe I got it back <laughs> then. So I must have got it more like when I was doing it at work. I bought one in 1985. I had it created by some company in the area, you know. It when, had VG. That's when he was young and single. It that's had, what I thought when I met him. He wasn't single. He I was, mean, he wasn't. I lived rich. in the basement. That's it. I had VGA monitor. VGA, man, that was so good. <laughs> Excuse me. So it was 1985. So we're talking that kind of technologies. That's where I started. That's where I got on board. MS, <laughs> MS DOS, me. where you had to do different type different things at the prompt when you knew what a prompt even was you know now I'm not saying the place where you click your mouse that's not a prompt <laughs> they didn't have mice back then we didn't have a mouse yet mouses weren't invented until micro uh, not Microsoft I'm sorry uh, Apple came out right that was it. Apple brought the mouse and they oh. brought the window operating system. It became Windows over time, but they only started out with just one window. Remember that? That was a short just, sneezing fit. That was a short sneezing I fit. Can she go can go longer, longer, longer. One of the many joys of loving and living <laughs> with Darlene all these hundreds of years. <laughs> it's actually going to be Jimmy 30. Jimmy said Walt Disney invented the mouse in the 40s. Oh, wow. Really? Mickey. Well, that's... Mickey uh, Mouse. Got me. Got me. I thought we were talking tech, not cartoon character. Got me. You had to pick it up. I think it was even earlier, wasn't it? I don't know. I think so. Maybe a little earlier. So, um, what else can I talk about kind of in meandering format? Do you have any suggestions? Let's see. I'm going to look onto the screen. Robert Ryan says 1927. 1927. I have not watched a single minute of that series. I what think series? it's a series. It's a, like a series on one uh, of the cable I think channels. I they were talking about when Mickey was created. Oh! That too. Oh my gosh. So I thought it was before the 40s, so thank you. So, uh, Dingle Dangle, how you doing? Hey, How's Nancy it hanging? Hey, Santa Maria, hello there. Nancy, Santa Maria Latinka, glad to have you. Nancy usually is working on the second shift, poor lady. Uh, Kiwana, hello. Are you a newbie? And I'm sorry, I probably said your name no. wrong. No, I would put the Kiwana, yes. AI, oops, going to fill in the no cameraman position. Yeah, yeah, you're right, definitely. Very astute. Of course, I may not look like this. I wonder what AI would want me to be how it would like to transform me. Maybe make me look younger, like the the things I post in the uh, public square, you know, the videos and photos from yesteryear, and you think they just happened yesterday, of course. Yes, I, I always have this smooth 
young skin of my, uh, well, I guess that would have been my tender 50s, maybe, some of those photos before I turned 60. Oh. Your face isn't bad. It's not too bad? Yeah, you don't have a lot of wrinkles. It's not bad. It just looks like somebody ran over my face with uh, glass cleats. Well, playing, that was uh, when you were football. peeling. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I was peeling. I uh, was not upeeling. I was oh, peeling. Oh, my face. Yeah, my oh, face. Oh, gosh. Got a little so too much bad. sunburn with uh, being out with Kylie. Tom and Kylie. And I uh, better make sure I cover up the next time. Yes, you should. Yes, I don't want another one. I yet. kept making him put lotion on his face. It did help. Yes, this fancy stuff that these women buy where you get like. A little jar of it for a hundred dollars. She let me put some of it on my face. I, that, I don't spend that kind of money on cream. I should be buying some uh, ball stuff apparently now. My brother buys this wood, ball butter. Ball butter, and he's telling me that yes, he enjoys ball butter. It has a slight menthol and tingly. And um, energetic kind of an effect. I don't want uh, to put Vicks Vapor Rub he didn't say it on was my off. testicles, nuts, well, anything around there. I have to laugh. Uh, I'm sorry. His brother Steve, he has his stuff in the bathroom. No problem. It but I'm amazed one, at all the stuff that, that he many, has. That many inches of shit. And I saw this one and it said ball butter. Ball butter. So I'm thinking. Is that what it sounds like? So I asked him, I said, hey, Steve, what's ball butter? He goes, just what it sounds like. And I couldn't stop laughing. So, and he puts some on his chest because it smells good. So, I mean, I would especially put it on my chest after I rub my balls. Get it? <laughs> a little funk up there. It's Come on skin. in, honey. Lean in. See if you smell a little of my balls. Oh my God! Wow, oh, I smell your testicles. The one thing I do, I try, I would like to perform fellatio on you very enthusiastically. <laughs> Ball butter. It's like a fly to a flame. <laughs> but her, but she'll be your next dame. Ball butter. Okay. Get off the oh my water. God! I love that. I I had somebody talk about some other kind of stuff and make a joke out of it. And basically, it was talking about how uh, a person was walking um, into a bar to meet other people, and when they did, something came out of the guy's pants leg, what? and it was a twisted a piece of paper towel where the uh, one seat? end no where the one end was brown with an obvious material what are you talking about i'm talking about the man pond when you are away and you have no other way to clean yourself you know that a damn uh, Charmin or whatever up. is not going to be Thank enough. Thank you, Mega. Thank you, Mega. You know Charmin's not enough. You're going to be putting your finger through Charmin. Oh, you God. need bounty. So you get yourself a piece of a bounty towel. You Would roll you it up. Stop you tear off a few inches and you do your man pot. You know you have. Don't lie to me. You know when you were doing that... Uh, that weekend job and you were working overtime and you didn't have chance to take a shower. Man Pond to the rescue. Man Pond, ask for me by name. I have a warehouse full of Man Ponds ready for you. Hey, Stone Creek One. Yeah, Recycle, of course. Thank you. Thank you, too. Yes, you may. I don't care. Quote me on that. Yes. M-A-N-P-O-N. 
Do we have any birthdays in the house? Any birthdays? We'd like to sing happy birthday to people when it's their birthday. Help cheer them up about the fact they're another year older and deeper in debt, closer That's to death, and all song. that stuff. AJ, he's just running off at the mouth. It's a verbal diarrhea night. It's called verbal. Ah, and my own double bourbon tonight. So these are I am drinking water. Bottles filled with our special cleansing solution, we call it. This when we use this, it magically oh, we, removes we, all the negative energy. Greg, yes. We have birthday. Ooh. We're a little late. It was the ninth, the eighth of the ninth. Muffin. Muffin. And their husband. Muffin and Muffin don't have husband. A, yes. Okay. So you can sing happy birthday. Just to one of them, then the other. Sure. Okay. Just not real loud. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, husband of Muffin. Happy birthday to you, but happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to Muffin, happy birthday to you. That was a twofer, folks, twofer. <laughs> Hope it wasn't too much. It is our pleasure to serve. Nobody else? At least we had two. No, no, yeah, we'll see. That's good. That's good. Let's see I mean, what's written this here. Is Husband of Muffin, yes. Yes. Aww. And then I have Stone Creek playing uh, a little diddly. Put us the, gave, he, the score of what I sang. That's what it was. Thank you, Stone Creek. No, and I really don't care, Jimmy. I don't care about the Kardashians. The Kardashians? I think that's how you say that. Yeah, that, they're they're definitely a... Do I know how they became famous? All right, I'll bite. What did they do first? Some kind of business, Mr. Kardashian, was in business. He was a businessman, right? Although he was successful compared to other people who say they're businessmen. We're business people. This is big time business right here at rickserastore.com. You can go and look at all my different social media platform. I a link to Jim send us email. Paris Hilton's assistant. Then she dropped the sex tape and got famous. So if I have a sex tape with somebody, would that make me famous? I'll drop a sex tape now that they I'm known. Rick Sarah has sex with it has to be somebody hot. I think the only uh, reality TV I watch is Survivor. I've been watching it except for the first two seasons. All right, I'll have sex with somebody on Survivor. That sounds good. I'll have to go to Jeff Probst and ask. Nancy Santa Maria says I have a sex tape. Oh, good. All right. Brian Martian says you need to drop a sex tape. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, Nancy, do you have a? Um, she doesn't have it. He does. Oh, do we? How do you? How do you buy copies? Uh, feel free to let us know at rich.adr at aol.com, which is our email address, and I will share people how they can buy your sex tape if you're trying to sell it. I don't care. I don't even want any uh, proceeds from it. I hope that hey, you Ryan, do well. Ryan, uh, Bolo, he wants to know uh, what type of cleansing are you doing with what's in the bottle. Okay. You must be new, Ryan. It's a, it's a, it's a hydrogen mixture. Yes, a mixture contains hydrogen, if you know what that is. It's a very important element. So we use this at an elemental level, and by putting projecting into the air a couple of cc's of this hydrogen solution 
and invoking your name aloud, it will remove negative energy from you top to bottom. And as a bonus, I think it's the arc of energy from the hydrogen. All of your accumulated poo-poo through your entire test intestinal system, starting from the large or small intestines all the way to the last little bit of colon, you will be clean and you will feel great. You'll feel light. You'll be so light on your feet, you almost like float around walking. Yes, please. It'll feel so good. You Don't forget to like You'll the never come and let a month go by uh, again without getting your special cleansing from Rick Sarah. Free. Free Can't subscription. Hello there. Free show. We just like you to click the like button. If you're wealthy, please click the dollar sign and be generous. But everybody else, click at least the Thank you, like Santa button. Maria. Thank you. There's a there's a rich person there. Thank you very much. She said she needs cleansing from her sex tape. She needs cleansing from watching her own sex tape. The poor lady. Not from watching it. Because it's out there rolling I around. Guess. I don't know. Nancy, why don't you let putting, me watch it and we'll people's, people's mouth. mouth? Why don't you let me review it? Dolly she doesn't and I. have it. Oh, fuck. I already told you that. So, have you, you know where we can look it up? <laughs> I'm going to hurt you. Darlene's right leg has not been feeling good. Hey, Ryan Bolo. Thank, thank you, you, Ryan. I saw that. Yes, um, she already had her left knee, you know, a replacement. That was way back, like 10 years ago. Now she's looking at doing her right because the it pain is getting it so is. bad for her. And I have gotten none of my knees done and the right one's hurting me, but apparently it's more related to arthritis. I am third Martian. Spinal arthritis. Oh, my God. Different locations. So good. And in my right hip, apparently, I got a lot of arthritis. But you don't so, have But I fracture. don't have what I was afraid of. I thought I had a fractured hip. We were trying to figure out how we were going to do this. Get his hip done here, and then get Mom home, and then me get so my So, no, knee. we don't have to worry about it. So that's there good. is none to worry about. Did you see our our second cool skull? I don't know if you saw that before. We brought so. that out for Halloween. Yeah, but I wanted to bring it out tonight because it's cool. And then, of course, the uh, one that you normally see for our ceremonies, we have the, the skull with the very attractive carving. Carving almost appears to be, what's the style you like on it's not paisley. It's almost paisley, I tell you. It's close to being a Flowers. paisley scar. Flowers, not paisley. Flowers. I can skull carve in flowers. I'll go and do it for hours. Sorry. I was reminiscent of somebody's song, Flowers. Um. And hours. Who am I thinking of? Miley Cyrus, exactly. Very good, man. You wow. guys are quick. Who got that right? No one did. Yeah. I'm Discord illiterate. So, AJ, if you go to the website, you just click on the link there. You don't have to save it. You can just click there anytime you want to join, and you go right to the same place. It's the Cocktail Out with Rick uh, channel of Discord. And different people are on all the time. You can Glad just chat. Back, Mr. D -Pants. There's a way to play different games together. And usually people on Discord, if you'd like to try to do something, willing to help you understand a little bit of how to do it. Especially those that are in the House of Debauchery, which is a private club, but they are all members of Discord. So, and also, you can go and look at my merch. Yes, there's a link for merchandise. Believe it or not, we do sell 
different things. We just don't sell much of it. <laughs> but we have different things to sell if you'd like stuff. But if you don't, you probably still don't, and you're the people who didn't before, you won't buy it now. But just letting you know again what you already knew and couldn't give a shit about. But I just thought I'd bring it up again. Because we'd really love to sell more of this shit. But it's up to you. Especially t-shirts. We haven't started stuff. yet, Carson, but we will. What is Carson one? Cleansing. Carson wants cleansing? Yeah. Carson is yet. Carson is like a pure as driven snow kind of uh, guy. He's a young man. He hasn't lived long enough to be impure. Right, Carson? You're a good boy. You love your uh, relatives, your grandma. You're so good for her. Carson, good boy. I think a lot of people threw prayers at, at your uh, grandma, uh, Bonnie, in this past week or two. So God bless your Aunt Bonnie as long as you also will say God bless my mom, Jess. She has. I know, I know. I'm doing a kind of a cheer thing with my arm while I'm talking like this. So how close are we to... It's 8.14. All right, so maybe... Soon. We in have, 14 minutes. We have to be off before 9 o'clock. Yes, and cleansing usually is a 10-minute thing yeah. anyway. It's not that long to do it, but we hope that you'd like to be cleansed. Um, there are 64 Kirk, people. I can't say your name, but um, it's only four years old. I'm the one who created it because I don't like Gmail. And I'm yeah. the one who handles the email. So. And the Rick Sarah Star was made by her as well. That was as a joke as for As a joke for me. When we were... Before we even started anything. doing anything, it, I had these cards, and then um, hey, thanks, John. Then we actually had a reason for doing something, and it was the Mothman Festival in 2019, October 2019. That was a great time. I will, will always put that down as great experience, and the time after that where we shot videos, mm -hmm. the we, you all know who we are, and. Um, there is a uh, Rick's Motel Dives, West Virginia. It's a name of a video under Rick's Motel Dives. You can find all that kind of stuff I used to do with other people, my own version. You even have Darlene doing dirty room investigation with me. Yes, really, I got her to do it too. I think a couple of times, actually, I don't know. But she tries to block it out of her memory. I uh, just wanted everyone to know, uh, we're headed back up north May 15th. I think Around May 15th. Mom will be flying up, I mean, Rick will be flying up with Mom. Because we're really not sure. Either way, sure. Mom with me, me yeah. with her. And I'll be driving, Bo will be my co-pilot. So, usually we get up in two days, it might be three for her. Because driving by yourself, you don't have anybody to help switch. I've done it before. He's done it before. Yeah, I did it. Crazy. Oh, yeah. He didn't stop. I just started coming down one morning, and I uh, started maybe at like 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, and I finally got down here about 1 in the morning the next day. Yeah. With stops for gas and tinkling and food, Bo and I. So what I did was, as soon as I got here, I opened the door. Oh, no, you have to stop. Why? Because that. So I came. I flew down to help M and G because they, they had been hit. That but anyway, we he were, had called me that evening while we were having dinner and said, "Yeah, we're getting ready to pull over or something." Blah, I blah, have a hotel like and yeah, all this crap. And yeah. So then, you can, now you can pick up. So the, she thinks I'm going to be coming the next day. So I get to here, and I come up to the door, I open the door, and I let Bo run in and get in on the bed. And he could jump onto the bed at that point. So she's like sleeping and going, oh, Bo, oh, Bo, how did you get here? And then finally she wakes up, what the fuck, what are you doing here? Yep. We had surprised her. Yes, you did. 
That Carson was great. will usually come down in October after Rick's yes. birthday. And we're hoping we can do the same this year. Yeah, October the 6th, I have a concert to go see. I shared a link of some uh, reminiscent old music from the 80s by a little band that was called King Crimson. And a guy named Adrian Blue, a guy named Tony Levin, they were two of the hey, people Dina. in that band, along with a guy named Bill Bruford and a guitarist, Robert Fripp. Well, this time we have the drummer from Tool, Steve Vai, on guitar, along with Adrian Blue, and we have Tony Levin. And my brother and I have really good seats. I paid lots more than I did have to pay, but I still got the good seats. So my brother and I are going to enjoy Beat is the name of the show. Uh, if you like King Crimson, you really should consider trying to catch this tour. It's uh, not super pricey. Steve will pricey. be the designated driver. Yeah, my brother, thankfully is a sober driver at all times so he will be riding up and back to this is possibly near, Carson outside of Philadelphia but any of you that want to join us up there at the Keswick Theater let me know It'd be nice to have a maybe a little acquaintance time before or after before it'd be better it's a cool place, Keswick Theater, just outside of the northwest of Philadelphia. Should you so, think about getting a room for that? I don't know. I mean, Steve, if he's done, if he's retired and all, I mean, we could think of that because we've never been able to really hang out at the town, mm -hmm. always running right back. And up and down I-95 between Baltimore and Philadelphia isn't exactly a pleasure drive. It's a pretty uh, white knuckle hey, type Duvian drive. Mr. Duvian said, um, I, don't, I can't say that name, V-A-I, somebody you probably just spoke to. Yes. Told me about that when I saw him in November. He mentioned he had something coming up, and I said King Crimson. And he replied, I'm not going to say no or yes. Ah! Well, apparently... Uh, you may be aware of this, Damien. He's going to be dealing with the part... Eric, 34 years in May. Yeah, the part of Robert Fripp. That's what he is going to do. Steve I is going to be playing as if he's sitting in Robert's position, sitting on a stool somewhere dimly lit on the edge of the stage. Is that the way Steve Vai rolls? Or does he dance around the platform? And will we see Steve and Adrian pirouetting between each other as they exchange guitar god-like riffs? Dana's going to the Mothman Festival this year. Who, Miss? Dana. Dana! Dana, Dina. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Dean, Dina, 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 and I guess Wesley and Dina going to the Mothman Festival. I hope you have a great time. That's usually September, right? I don't know. Yeah, I think it's... Let me try to remember. Maybe Dean will tell us when it is. Okay. Please, Dina, tell me when it might be. I'm just a little curious. September. September. I thought September. There's a date there. I just yep. didn't see it yet. Huh. Huh. You know, I don't really think we it's have anything happening yet. Although, you know, it's a freaking four hour ride out to Point Pleasant. And but the last I, time we were pretty far from it. We had like a 30 minute or so drive. We couldn't even find a place anywhere near. Oh. Poor. Here, yeah, read this trailer. because it's better you read it than we try and. No, I, I'm Rick doing Rick. it. I see it. It was moving, so I scrolled it. See, I, don't like I know it this. Robert Fritt got asked to do it, and he passed. I know. I heard about that. 
I heard it out of Adrian's mouth, and Adrian was starting to do it way back when it was before COVID. He said, aren't we going to do a uh, anniversary of the 80s albums? So that would be like from 81, 82, 84, 2014 probably would have been 30 years. So it's really been hanging. Did you finish reading that? Yeah. Okay. But he gave his blessing for Yes. But he gave his blessing. Nice to give your blessing to the guy who was a member of King Crimson. And you did this to him. Yes, you did, Robert. You really hey, didn't hey, treat him nicely. Say hi to Trisha. Hi, Trisha. Oh, hi. How? And today's her birthday. Trisha's birthday is yeah. today. Sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Trisha. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Trisha. Paying Rick for the good times. Oh, thank you, Carson. Let the good times roll. So, are we at 8.36 minutes away? We can do it now. Yeah. Which means we have to sign off like five minutes early. So, we are now coming to the time of the evening where I will be having a special session, one that is only special because it's on the Rick Sarah channel. Mm -hmm. We call this our special colon cleansing. As I stated, this is totally without any direct contact. It's all virtual. We use these bottles of the hydrogen mixture Make that we 21. create. Mako, we are going to cleanse, and you're here just in time. Sunset Motel is still going strong. Sunset Motel? Yeah. Very good. That's from Stone Creek. Stone Creek. And I would like to let you all have access to the table, so to speak, because we all are inundated with negative energy. We need positive energy to counter this negative energy, to balance us. I have requests coming in already. We will start now. And don't get Bo, he's over there on the, the ground. The process, we are going to have to do it right over here. Okay. It needs to be clean anyway. Okay. You ready? I now would like you to ask if you would like to be cleansed. Well, let's start out with mom. Jess, Sarah, you are cleansed. Don't hit that cushion. Maybe I should move that. Yeah. The first one, gosh, my leg's bad. You're going to turn the camera around towards Nothing. you? Nothing perfect. Now he moves. Oh. Come on up. Come on. Get out of the way. Come on. There you go. Now we're going to have to look a little bit for the darts tonight. Yeah, they're all over the place. The darts are all over the place tonight. All right, now. Okay, are you ready? I will now start to give you an opportunity to be cleansed of the negative energy and to receive the positive energy and the elimination of all of the solidified waste inside of your intestinal tract, courtesy of Rick Sarah Channel. You ready? Yes. Muffin. Muffin, you are cleansed. Bobby the Desert Walker. Bobby the Desert Walker, you are cleansed. I don't want to miss anyone, so I'm scrolling slowly. Because they were the first two. Alien Train 28. Alien Train 28, you are cleansed. Miss Glow. Miss Glow, you are cleansed. Dina Bresbro. Dina, you are cleansed. Carson Thorpe. Carson Thorpe, you are cleansed. Um... Bonnie, is that his grandma? Grandma and Bonnie, you are cleansed. Spin Dallas. Spin Dallas, you are cleansed. Robert Ryan. Robert Ryan, you are cleansed. Josh was here. Josh was here, you were cleansed. 
Oscar's perspective. Oscar's perspective, you are cleansed. Scott Bagley. Scott Bagley, you are cleansed. Stephanie. Stephanie, you are cleansed. Mr. D Pants. Mr. D Pants, you are cleansed. Um, I, we got we got her, Carson. Special hydrogen solution. K one ish. K one ish, you are cleansed. I did. Uh, we did Oscar, right? Oscar. Perspective. Okay. You're cleansed again. Dingle dangle. Dingle dangle, you are cleansed. Mega. Mega. Death Gigantor, you are cleansed. Potato Kartoff. Potato Kartoff, you are cleansed. Soul. Soul Sasita, you are cleansed. Shoe Slideshow. Shoe Slideshow, you are cleansed. Carson Thorpe. Carson Thorpe was already it's, cleansed once. Okay. Uh, oh, Sarah 2.0. Sarah 2.0, oh, you are cleansed. Cherry Berry Girl. Cherry Berry Girl, you are cleansed. Kevin Peltobla. Kevin Peltola, you are cleansed. Alien Train. Alien Train, you are cleansed. Mega. Mega Death Gigantor is cleansed the second time. Shaylee Cohen. Shaylee, you are cleansed. Uh, do, 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 Wolfen. Wolfen, you are cleansed. Little Squash. Little Squash, you are cleansed. Darlene, you are cleansed. Thank you, I need it. Bo, you are cleansed. Steve, Sarah, you are cleansed. Rick, Sarah, you are cleansed. All right, we're good here. Stone Creek One. Stone Creek One, definitely, you are cleansed. Okay, John C. John C., you are cleansed. James. James, you are cleansed. Shaylee's kids. Shaylee's babies did, are cleansed. Did Mama, you know who we haven't seen? Uh, Patrick. And, um, Patrick Nicolucci, you are cleansed. I wasn't talking about him. Oh, the, Patrick, yes. And I can't remember her name. I'm terrible. Somebody let me know. He's suffering with cancer. I can't uh, remember Brumbo. her name. Huh? The Brumbo? Yeah. Right, no. no. Uh, Patrick. Me. Don't worry about it. Somebody will let me know. Uh, Coonhound Queen. Coonhound Queen, you are cleansed. Had her for the comment today. Thank you. Uh, Melissa. Melissa, you are cleansed. Yeah, my knees. Thanks, Stephanie. Joseph Nagy. Joseph Nagy, you are cleansed. We did we did makeup, right? Yes, two okay. times. Okay. Fill in the blank. We did Melissa. Folks, yeah. wait a minute. Touch the wrong button. Oh, sweet Melissa. Oh, that's not the same Melissa. That sounds like Marshall I, Tucker. That's it so far. That's it so far. Uh, Anita. Anita. Anita Flanagan and Patrick Flanagan. I know, okay, it would come to me. Because we haven't seen them, so I and is it Pamela Brumelo has not been here, but normally is. You were cleansed. Pamela Roosh. Pamela LaRouche was Chris, here, and Chris, Chris Roosh, you're both cleansed, doing this kind of an absentia. Thanks, Ryan. In the future, remember, if you send us an email in advance of the show, that you're not going to be able to be present, but would love to have us say your name for the cleanse, because you really love to hear your name called out, please feel free to send us an email to... Right here, rick.adr at aol.com. Oh, thanks, Joseph. The same place, if you are a new viewer, we give away a free Jimmy gift. Rick. Jimmy, Rick. Jimmy Rick, you are cleansed. Why did we get, not get you earlier? Jimmy Rick, you were cleansed. Yeah, they're coming to take us away, haha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. they Hello, Very Jim. common. We have silver alert several times uh, a week. You see all the... Uh, automated uh, message boards come up, silver alert. The other day it was a 2003 BMW. It was a good car for its day. So was the driver. Well, we'll call if you Jim. We'll that. call you Courtney. We'll call you whatever you want. Yes. Yeah, that's all. June Bug. Hey, Carson Thorpe, thank you. So, 
Cheers, everybody. Here's somebody here. Oh, thank you. Uh, another virtual rail fan. Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool. There's definitely a, a love of that's exactly what things railroad in uh, people have we have met before. Cleanse Hopi. Hopi, you are cleansed. Ah, uh, so as I suspected, it wasn't too long to help to give you the cleanse. But now that the lion's share of you all have received the cleansing, I ask you, can you feel the difference? You feel a little lighter? Oh, we've had people thanking you for the cleanse. Really? Do you feel a little happier inside? Uh, oh, and cleanse you... Trisha. Smiling? And who? Trisha. Trisha. I it think was I... her birthday. We didn't cleanse her. You sang happy oh, birthday. Oh, Trisha, you are cleansed. And we did sing to you. That's right. Yeah, they never. So, if you have felt something, something inside of you it's has been moved. lighter for sure. Please, please let your friends know and tell them to come to the Rick Sarah channel. Cleanse Theo. Theo. He has bad gas. I am sorry, Theo, if you have bad gas. I'm wondering if you are a canine. Yes. You are cleansed. <laughs> Not many people want you talking about their bad gas, but if it's your pa your puppy, uh, we can all laugh along with you because uh, so far they don't speak English 100%. They can pick up certain words. We, we know from him. I'm pointing to Bo. I guess you can see a little bit of his head down there. Uh, right around yeah, here. Can. Right he's, he's there. Too no, he's right here. here. Pick your head up a little bit. Let's see. Bo. Oh, he, they can see his body. Okay, right they here. see him? Good. Yeah, his body's right here. But I'm and, uh, there he is. A little while back, we were using a uh, fisheye lens to help you to be able to, to see us. Well, I learned... Oh. Jimmy Rick wants us to cleanse Jimmy. Jimmy, or Jim, as he likes to yeah, be he called here in Jim. the park, on 4th Street, you are cleansed. And he did help me do a very good job of cleaning the leaves up off of the yard. So that was good. I, uh, I did pay him fairly well for what amounted to like a grass cutting job, but still did so. Eric, we don't go to the movies that much, but we do want to see the new Ghostbusters. I have a friend who's 60, and he's still a lawnmower, living with mommy in mommy's house. Did we tell them the story about Jim and coming to rape 5.30 in the morning? No, I don't know if we told about that. So we discussed, this is Jim and I, a proposal for him to help me to get all the stuff off the yard. And I was going to propose using a tarp and dragging things. He likes filling up a bag and then carrying it, dumping it, and refilling the bag. Whatever, that's his thing, you know. We finally worked this out with a series of short discussions because we see him most every day at the same time coming through the gate here at the back of the property. You'll just have to believe me. See the lights down there? See how they go that way? The right spin. There's, it's a gate there. Okay. okay. So he comes through the gate. He has a bicycle. He usually has to bang himself or the bike or both several times the going story. through the fence with his key. The sister watches it. That he uh, has trouble getting into the gate, but he does it. And then he goes, anywho, and he's down the street carrying usually multiple different bags of Would food you get or on things. With the story? But he was here one day. Darlene, it's like 5.30 in the morning. She has trouble staying asleep and wakes early a lot. Well, notice the light, which is a solar-powered... No, I heard some noise. Okay. But and I'm going, what? is that so and i'm thinking some to myself noise, what, scraping? what is 
it was just like something lightly hitting the side, the side of, the of, house. of the house. Okay. And I'm going, and I'm thinking, oh no, please do, because I understand he's up early. Yes, very and early. I moved the curtain. Move the curtain. I could see that the light from our friend's house had been, had been triggered. tripped. So you had light right there, and I saw a rake. You saw the rake moving. And I just closed the blind. And you saw the rake see. moving, so we just closed the blind. Oh, that was hilarious. He's out here. That's right, Stephanie. At the crack of dawn, literally. It was dark. It was Wasn't still dark gone. outside. Oh, my gosh. And he was here before, and you told him not, hey, to, Brian, not to do it because I was still is sleeping. Is that Brian Vera Kelly? I don't know. Is it Brian? Is that how you spell Vera Kelly? It is Brian. Okay, he needs a cleansing for his world. Brian, you are cleansed for, and your family, and your co-workers, even if you don't agree, you're all cleansed. Now, feel the power of the cleansed, take away the negative energy, and fill you with the white power I mean cleansing power, not that I'm doing white power. Yeah. Otherwise, I might do power, but I not that wasn't what I was trying to do. So that white energy. Okay. You I'm sorry. Stop. I got to watch it because you know, say the wrong thing and you get in trouble. Ask David Trone in Maryland. No, oh, right. ask David Trone in Maryland. Oh. Ah. Say it now. Don't do it. All right, we're not going to talk about any Maryland political no, people. Nothing. No political. politics, no nuts. Can I talk about the butter again? No. <laughs> we spent too much I time. I got Brian you. here, and we got to talk no, about that no, butter. we're not talking about the butter. We oh, my did. God. Oh, sorry, you'll have to rewind the show, Mr. Brian. And uh, we had some funny stuff we were trying to make people laugh at. Of course, it's always funny to me. Good night, Josh. In my Good head, I think it's funny. Week. Josh, thank you for being with us. I hope that you enjoy the positive energy and the lack of poop. Oh, wait a minute. We have another cleansing. Okay, we still have water? Gross. Gross Tredamus. Gross Tredamus. You are cleansed. Here. Gross Tredamus. Because you are gross, need it twice. We Just got kidding. You, Bruce. It was a joke, Bruce. Don't. It means you're large, Bruce. Not that you're gross, Bruce. Of course not. And like I said, everybody, we're going to have to go off just a little bit. Ow! Before nine. Where'd that go? It was stuck in my head. No, it it went back in the. Yard. I did that for Bruce Stradamus because I said that gross joke about it. It was terrible. Yes, it was. I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. It was like a oh, spell. Apparently, there's a lot of bugs on the lens. There's l little bugs on the lens. Maybe I should cleanse the lens. Oh, I don't know. Uh, we need to cleanse Long Duck Dong. Long Duck Dong. And Nancy Santa Maria. Oh my gosh, right. You are cleansed. Thank you for the, re for the reminder. Especially. Carson. And Nancy Santa Maria Latica, you're cleansed. I, I love your name, Nancy. You've got the cool name, Nancy. Oh, we have to cleanse Boatman, Boatman. Boatman, Boatman, you're cleansed. I'm cleaning the carport at the same time with this hydrogen mixture. Has anybody guessed what this hydrogen mixture is? Don't even go there. Okay, you're really smart people. Eric, pizza is okay here, but we have a better place in Baltimore. Yes, we do have a nice home in Maryland. And then we have this tin can down here, but it's really nice. Yeah, I like it. It gets, it gets us through. He was asking if we had good pizza down here. Oh. And I said, but we have a, a better a, up north. Yeah. See, you don't hear half of what I say. Maybe if you wore your hearing aids, you might. I have these things, they call them hearing aids. You put them in your ear. And you can hear. You told everyone. Much Nickel better. Bagel. Yes, but you don't have them in. No, they're inside. Yeah, they do you a lot of good. Well, they're being charged, so they're fully ready. For what? For me to put into my ears. Yeah, how often do you do that? 
Well, I guess not today. I did create a video, and I did understand Ooh, someone mentioned that they saw it. Thank you very much in advance. But we have a new out with Rick. Yeah, that too, Jimmy Rick. This is the way you get to travel vicariously through us out with Rick. It's one of my playlists or one of my series, whatever way you want to describe it. It's on my YouTube channel, and I put out one today, recounting a time we went on a camping trip in August of 2022, and a little bit of footage from April of 2023, all at the same spot, Fort DeSoto Park in Pinellas County, Florida, just south of St. Pete, lovely lovely video. One thing I didn't even talk about is that there is an ancient, not ancient, Spanish fort and historic uh, type of a display. Hey, thank you, Carson Thorpe. Thank you so much. God bless you. And um, you can learn about the history oh, of Fort I. DeSoto. There, Sandy. She is going better. Sandy. She's still weak, but she is getting on the mend. And Sandy Beaches, a day area where you can go in and, and check out the beaches. Much more remote than any other beaches you would go to on the West Coast. Um, and there's a campground there. And you can rent kayaks, canoes, paddle boards from a topwater kayak outpost. And I plug them in the video. And I'm not getting any compensation. But I just did it because if you go there, just check them out. They'll take care of you. You can call them. They might hey, not answer. Simply, they rent the equipment. Just show up. There's no need to have to have a reservation unless it's a group tour. Then talk to them about that. There's a way to leave a message on their website and they will get back to you. But if you call and they say, check out our website, you'll understand they didn't answer the phone. Which side do you like for beaches? Florida or the east? I like the west coast. Um, you know, the big waves I, I enjoy sometimes, but sometimes they're so strong and oppressive and you can't get in the water to even enjoy it. And if that's the case, what good is it? Now, the one problem on the West Coast is the summertime. The water is oppressively warm. So you'd probably be better over at, like, Daytona Beach, something like that. Or even further north on the East Coast in Florida, or into Georgia. Beautiful beaches. Jekyll Island. Oh, well, Bruce, I'm glad you were able to make it back, and I'm glad your mom's doing well, and that she quit smoking. That's wonderful. Yes. Best thing you can do for yourself is to quit those damn cigarettes. If you're going to smoke anything, it better be weed or hash or oil or uh, wax or, you know, something like that. Not tobacco. All you got to do is get yourself uh, one of those vapes and fill your lungs with uh, uh, ethyl glycol or methyl glycol or ethyl methyl dethyl. I call. It tastes so good, though. I know. I would have family members that do that, but I, instead I'll do cannabis oil. Yeah, what's the difference? Cannabis oil is made out of cannabis. But the other stuff is made out of chemicals. Just chemicals. Aldehydes. Ketones. Ugh. Scary stuff like that. We don't need that. Cheers to all of you. You're still with us. How is that even possible? What time is it? It is 8.47. I think this is so cool, except for that is blocking the view. That's, there we go. That looks better. I'm going to tilt that that way in a little bit. I like that. That's good. So we have one more bottle in case anybody thinks they need a, a second cleansing. 
because it's been a particularly bad week. Mm. Yeah, I can do have that. Have you ever heard of Mount Dora, Florida? Mount Dora? No, we haven't. We'll have to take a look. Right now, though, we're pretty limited. It's kind of funny how far we can go. to think of a place in Florida called Mount Dora. What is it, a whole 60 feet high? It's the highest spot in Florida, Rick. It's located in northern Florida, in Ocala. No, it's... No, where is it? I'm trying to see. It's, a, it's an old reef of a sea. Well, I can't tell from this little map they have here. Let me see. Can, can I can I just look at it? I don't like you touching it. Because you phone. know I can see everything and know everything. No, it's not too far from 441 and 19. So it's uh east of the villages. So that's upper central. Guess what I said? What? I guess that part of the state oh, was okay. the highest. Have you ever been to the horse ranches it's like in the northern part of Florida, a central over Florida? Two hours from yes. Here. Yeah, there are some pretty high hills. They're hills. So there must be some hills, and one of them they call Mount Dora. Beautiful country. Beautiful country. Forests, or nice pastures for, like I said, the horse industry. Uh, there's a lot of... Good night, um, Stephanie. We'll see you next week. There's a lot of uh, parks, RV parks, up the northern part of Florida. And uh, people even live in these places. They just be, reside in these parks where they do a seasonal every year. So, uh, great part of Florida. We've traveled through this north and south for years now. We come in through the north, Jacksonville. We head south, southwest. We end up in the center of the state. And we continue south. Eventually we find Tampa and where we are, a suburb to the southwest of Tampa called Seminole. We're located like midway between St. Petersburg and Clearwater at about we five have, we have another five miles to... off the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. We need to cleanse mm -hmm. five coon hounds. They are it's a type of dog. What are their names? Don't have names. Uh, there are it's five coon, it's coon hound queen. Coon hound queen? Coon hound queen, do you have five hounds? We have one hound in our family. I can't yeah, imagine five. Coon hounds is a specific type gotcha. of dog. Coon My hounds. grandfather had one. Yes. Yeah. All right. Five lovely coon hounds. And the the off the, the family of coon hound queen, you are cleansed. And maybe I'll cleanse them again because you know how Yes, gross. Shit happens with dogs. <laughs> Right, Bo? Oh, I'm not going to square on you. Better not. Oh, the poor baby. You guys pull out like this. You're so cute. Well, guys, we're going to have to wind this down. Where are we? 8.52. All right. I'm not taking this to nine. I'm not taking yep. that chance. So you all, I've had fun. I hope that you've had fun. So let's sing the show song before we, we don't all have a song. say goodbye. Come here, baby. Are you ready? Join along. What are we singing? We had a great time again. You're like family, not friends. Cocktail hour with Rick. It's slick. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. We'll see Goodbye. you next we week. We love you all. Thank you very much. No saying, let Thanks me for down. the super chat tips. Thank you for the clicking the like button. 
please check out rickserastore.com. If you've never gone to my website, for God's sake, look around. You don't necessarily have to buy anything unless you're drawn to it. Like a positive beacon of life. Love you all. Thank you. Have a sweet night and weekend. Peace.